Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Sherlock Holmes. Now, I didn't realize that there was more options here to, or more to this than before. So we'll go ahead and go through this and see which choices I select to find out who the murderer is. So I guess we'll try to figure out what it is, and then I'll take a look around and see if I can find more clues. I think Hurtley did it. Oh, God. <clears throat> Liam Hartley murdered Peter K Carey. The motive was jealousy and his love for Casey's wife. Liam Hartley has been found guilty of the murder of Peter Carey. He must be punished by law. Uh, bah. Uh, Liam Hartley's mind was clouded by his love for Judith Carey, Peter's wife. This murder was a crime of passion under emotional duress. Nevertheless, he must answer to the law for what he has done. Guilty, he must be punished by law and all its... Absolve? Absolve? Condemn. He did kill him, though. Whether it was... Ah, choices. Everybody's going to hate me. Condemn. Condemn. To confirm your moral... Ah! Do it. Shit. Don't tell me I screwed up. Oh. The case is solved. I am now ready to present the guilty party. Oh God! Now tell me, who killed Black Peter? Uh, uh. It was Liam Hurtley. That doesn't surprise me. I've never seen a guiltier-looking fella. Uh. He was in love with Judith Carey. It caused a conflict that proved fatal for her husband. I see. Uh. Come on now. Let us confront him. I screwed up. Oh, that's going to tell me I screwed up, isn't it? Oh, Liam choices. Hartley, you are formally accused of the murder uh. of Peter Carey. We are aware that you were in love with Carey's wife. Mm. He was a violent and irascible man. He needed to be eliminated. You had no qualms. Mm. Well, that's absurd. I'm innocent. Mm. Well, we caught you, lad. Oh God! You got the case is resolved, Inspector. I shall return to Baker Street. You're not gonna tell me Very if I was well, right or wrong. Lunch. Goodbye for now. Ah, oh, you're not gonna tell me if I was right and wrong. Oh. oh. Fate of Peter Black. Uh, Black Peter. Liam Hartley murdered Peter K Carey and remained silent to hide his crime. Thanks to your detective reasoning, his relationship with Judith Carey was revealed, and also his presence at Woodman's Lee. You have decided to bring him to justice. Clues found 16. Conclusion, Hurtley is guilty. Moral choice, condemn Hurtley. Ah, god damn it. Ah, choices. I've made my choice. I'm No, I've made it. Condemn him. Yeah, he was... Unless... Does love have an effect in law? Like, can you be blinded by law and then get away with it? Or love? I don't know law. I don't know how that... Uh, God damn it. He did. If he if he murdered him, he needs to be. Ah. Fuck. Damn it. This trip to the countryside will be good for you, Holmes. You're not going to tell me mm. if I did good, do you? As your friend and your doctor, I really do recommend that you give yourself a complete change of scene. Fresh air, brisk walks, mm. bird watching, chopping wood. Sounds intolerant. I mean, certainly it sounds delightful. But you haven't yet told me who your friend is. The one we're going to visit. He is a bee lover. A bee lover? Do you mean that he keeps bees? That must be Mrs. Hudson, bringing the warm cloth that I requested. Mm. There is someone to see you, Mr. Holmes. I have no time. Send whoever it is away. Hmm. Yes, Holmes, I really think we ought to leave now. Uh-oh. Run! I've made the bad choice. Someone's pissed. Mycroft. Oh, Sherlock. Who? Who the hell are oh, you? Uh, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps you don't remember. Ah! I'm Dr. Watson. Uh, we met at the Diogenes Club a few years ago. A few years? I documented our encounter in a short story I gave the title The Greek Interpreter. He does remember you, Watson. My brother remembers everything. Brother. That is why he is so valuable to the government. We're about to depart for the train station. I know. You know? Sherlock, I need your help. 
No. There are people who presently threaten both our country and the crown itself. You must help us with those methods of yours. Oh, need. I don't help. like you. Those are not words I would readily associate with you, Mycroft. I wrote you a letter, but you did not reply. And this is not about politics. It's about people. People similar to those whom no. you pretend to defend no. in your petty detective affairs. Petty? Everything is about politics oh, you with you, Mycroft. I'm not interested. Have some of your agents, your spies, or worse, undertake this job of yours. You are defending your people, and they have little to do with the people I choose to help, I can assure you. Yes. That is the point. You think exactly as they do. <laughs> Who are they? The Merry Men. He is talking about the Merry Men, a band of idealistic terrorists. <laughs> Sherlock, do please think about it. They are planning something diabolical. Your country needs you. Yes. You need me, Mycroft, and you are not the country. Although, if your waistline expands very much further... <laughs> Mrs. Hudson, tea will not be necessary. Yeah, I will not mention, be staying. The train conductor, Mr. Parker, is aware that you will be seven minutes late. You are in the fourth car. The train will be waiting for you. What? Sherlock... Enjoy your time in Staffordshire. And do, please, at least write to me on your return. Mm. <sighs> okay, so Sherlock Holmes says, I never read the books. I kind of, I really, I actually want to read the books now. But I've never read the books before. What are you dressed as? I do not approve of your current attire. It is ugly. All right, Mr. Holmes, you better get your, uh... Image in before we leave. Ugh, oh. You like that, Mr. Holmes? I'm, uh, all right, Mr. Holmes, let's go. Hi. Holmes, please call a cab while I pack my suitcase. We should be late for the train. Call? There's phones in this time? Watson, I'll hold a cab for us. We leave in five minutes for the station. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. One week later. What? That's a, that's a big... Ah. What a gloomy night. It was warmer inside the waiting hall. I suppose. Since the station master told us that the train is about to arrive, mm -hmm. we should not have to wait very much longer. Yes, at last. Attention, the train is arriving at the station. Please stand well away from the platform edge. No! I'll take your bags and your blasted archive suitcase. Hey, you leave my suitcase alone, it's done nothing to you. But, Holmes, the headlight, it's faded away. Something is wrong. I can't hear any sound from the incoming train. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain what has happened? I, I don't know. It, it's as if the train vanished into thin air. Holmes, say something. Quick, fetch a lantern and let us take a look. What? Huh? It's too dark. Only fog and rails, nothing else. Mm. What? There's no use in stumbling around here at night. We will come back tomorrow. Have we gone into a ghost store the next morning very early? Have we gone into a ghost story? Why is there trains disappearing in bloody nowhere? Oh, God. Oh, mister! Ah! You've joined us on this train hell, or this ride to hell. I'm glad! Welcome! Well, here we are again at Evesham Station. Mm. We have a full day ahead. Let us begin our investigation. Yay, on the m apparent, m apparently missing train track. Alright, so we've got a different change in scenery. <laughs> anyway, my name is Master Wolf, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Hit that subscribe button to see more content I do in the future. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Do take care now.